Can you put that down, please? What? Can you put that down, please? Val! Call your back up, come up hot. Stop! Stop! Call up! Alright, so I first saw this video on Salty Crackers YouTube channel there. So I figured, hey, I'll put my thoughts on it too. So, here we go. Graphic, man accused of hitting police officer with hammer. Body camera shows. Attack. Middletown police received a complaint about noise and breaking glass at Liberty Street officials said. Body camera video released late Tuesday afternoon shows a suspect identified as 52-year-old Winston Tate attack the officer with a hammer. Police said Tate took a hammer and hit Travis four times. While on the ground, the officer detective Carl Travis Carol Carl shot Tate several times. Then he was arrested. So the police officer shot him several times and he still survived. And people say police should stop using guns in favor of tasers. Yeah, okay. Tate appeared in court on Tuesday. He's dangerous. There's nobody that's safe from this man, said the state's attorney. Why do I have a feeling he's going to be out and about in a couple months or a couple years? But anyway, Tate shook his head and closed his eyes as attorneys described the attack. Tate even tried to take his prison jumpsuit off while the judge decided his bond. A public defender calmed him down. Travis was taken to middle... Sex hospital for injuries. She was treated and has been released, according to the state. More than 20 Middletown police officers attended the news conference supporting Travis. Officers are calling Travis a hero. She's resting comfortably at home and is being supported. We're extremely proud of her, said Middletown Police Chief Eric Costa. Police say they were called to Tate's home five times in the last month for disturbances. Tate served jail time for attacking police officers in 2017 and 2020. He served one year for the 2017 incident and was on probation for the 2020 attack when he allegedly assaulted... Allegedly. There's no allegedly. What the hell? Assaulted Travis... He is a convicted felon that dates back to 95, Costa said. Middletown's police union said, It is our hope that this time, finally, after attempting to murder a police officer, he will suffer the consequences that he is so rightly, rightfully deserves. We believe she's strong, and she needs to be known as a heroine, obviously, Costa said. Tate was released from the hospital on Monday, the state said. Police said Tate was charged with criminal attempt to commit first-degree assault, second-degree assault, assault on a public safety personnel, and interfering with police. But none of that is murder, right? So, how much time will he get for all those, compared to attempted murder? Just curious. He was held on a $500,000 bond. I hope this guy goes away for life, but if I'm not mistaken, this isn't the first time he's assaulted police officers. And as for the police officer, I hope she makes a full recovery. Well, that's it for my thoughts on this uh, deranged event. Friggin' lunatic runs after a cop with a hammer. Yeah, well, anyway, take care out there in clown world.